What are the hidden blessings of being unappreciated? No, it's not a mistake in the title. At the end of Shmona Esrei, we say the following. My essence should be like dust and dirt to everybody. Why would we want to be like dust and dirt to everyone? Do we want to be abused? Do we want to be trampled on? Do we want to be taken for granted, unappreciated, ignored? This is not what we mean. What we mean is we are like dirt because we resemble dirt. And what is dirt? And we want to resemble dirt. Dirt is often unappreciated. Dirt is ignored, taken for granted, neglected. Yet, it continues to do its job all day, every day. It doesn't give up. It doesn't depend on appreciation. Um, the dirt continues to be the vehicle in which Hashem, our God, sends blessings, sends life into this world and makes this world go round. This world exists because of dirt, because of the life that continues to produce uh, in order for us to benefit, all living things to benefit. This resembles a person, especially the woman. The woman can feel very, very often especially if she's a young mommy, a woman can feel very often like dirt. Ignored, unappreciated. But if we look to what we really want to resemble, we want to be dirt. And the reason why is the following. Rabbi Tim Esther Bela Schwartz gave a talk to a, a class with young mommies. And she said, I give you a bracha. I give you a blessing. May you be like dirt to your Children, namely, she said specifically, um, may you be unappreciated by your families. May you never be appreciated by your families. And everybody looked at her so shocked. What kind of blessing is that? And the truth of the matter is, it's a beautiful blessing. Human nature is such that we truly appreciate something when we lose it. This is everybody's nature. No matter how much you love someone, love something, appreciate something, you will do so much more and appreciate that person, that thing so much more when you lose it. So she gave a bracha. May your family never understand what it means to lose you. May you continue to be healthy, to do your role, to fulfill your role as a wife and as a mother. That is truly a bracha. So when you get unappreciated, don't worry. That means you are healthy. You are doing your role. You are healthy enough to fulfill your role, to do your task. I can tell you my personal um, story where um, I've said earlier that I have surgeries on each of my pregnancies, each of my deliveries. And I remember when I was recovering at home, how difficult it was for me just to make a simple soup, which is really not so simple, you know. Um, or how difficult it was from just to bend down to do laundry. I had to, I had to have help. So it's such a bracha to do just the simple things. And I, every single time now when I'm able to do things, I think about the times when I wasn't able to, and it's, it's, it's a real blessing. Simple things shouldn't be taken for granted. I wanted to share with you that every single person, the reason why they underconduct themselves is because they undervalue themselves. They don't appreciate who they are, that they're holy, their holiness and their purity. They don't appreciate themselves. They don't value themselves. And that is why they underconduct themselves. But we are so precious. We, do, uh, we fulfill a role that nobody else can do. Everybody needs to wake up in the morning and look in the mirror. And every single time they look in the mirror to tell themselves, to look in the mirror truly to believe and tell themselves that, I am God's gift to humanity. Each and every one of us is a precious gem that I can't do your role and you can't do mine. We are special and precious. You can have 10 Rachel Imenos, Sarah Imenos, but if you don't have you in the world, this world is not fulfilling its purpose. Rabbi Zelik Pliskin teaches something so beautiful. He says on his book on happiness, that you have no idea 
how many people serve you on a daily basis, and you could simply be in the privacy of your own home. What do I mean? The, the post office worker delivers your mail. Somebody woke up in the morning to make you fresh bread. You're never going to meet these people, but they work for you. Somebody's right now inventing uh, a gadget that you will one day benefit from. Someone, someone right now is designing clothes that you will one day wear. Someone is telling you what the weather is going to be like that you need to know because you have to be someplace. So many people on a daily basis are benefiting, uh, benefiting us and we depend on them. We're never going to meet them. But when we think about it, it really helps us become more grateful, more appreciative because Hashem, our God, takes care of us. Now, do we take things for granted? Absolutely. Do we mean to? Absolutely not. Only when we tap into what's really important, tap, tap into our blessings, but we get to appreciate what we have. So we too don't always appreciate what Hashem, our God, gives us. So we can think about that when, when we feel unappreciated. Another practical tip is when our children don't thank us for, for the delicious food we cooked or for the time that we spent cooking, you know, we really think about it. When they don't thank us, we can think about the fact that we do have food. When they mess up the clean house that we worked so hard to tidy up, we can be grateful that we have a place to stay. Not everybody does. And we, when we don't feel appreciated at all, for the many roles that we play as a woman, we can thank Hashem that we are healthy to do so, that we are healthy to fulfill our role. I, um, I want to bless us all with a big bracha, that may we merit to appreciate ourselves, appreciate what God gives us. And when we don't feel appreciated, may we be grateful that we are fulfilling our roles. We don't need, we don't need anybody's thank you because we are doing our role anyway. We are put in this world to do our role. We are put in this w world because we are making Hashem happy. A woman is doing her role. Let's not do things so that we can, uh, we can accrue appreciation from our husbands, from our families, because we are getting the credit for it anyway, for doing it. Hashem sees what we're doing. And we're, when we show our families that we love our role, or we're doing it with our hearts, they're going to they're gonna want to be around us. They're going to want to spend more time with us. Because when you're with a kvetchy, nagging person, and a, someone who feels so low and downtrodden because they're not appreciated, who wants to be, who wants to appreciate such a person? We're fulfilling our roles anyway. We have to be grateful to Hashem that we are able to do, fulfill our purpose in this world. May, may we merit to wholeheartedly fulfill our roles and in this world and enjoy what we were created for. Leia Brahma, being and becoming.